guys, what's going on? Um, the video might be slightly laggy with the my audio because I'm using Hypecam 3 and it's pretty crap to be honest. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you um, the virtual dub setup for an easy cap. Let's go into it then. This is the latest version of uh, virtual dub. First, what you want to do is go to File, Capture AVI. And then wait for something to appear and it's on screen emulation. Right, so what I do is you go down and choose your Syntec STK eleven sixty. So look. We're halfway there already. So I'm using PlayStation, it looks like I've got a message. <laughs> so now what you want to go down to is video. Make sure it's on preview. If you've got this connected to a TV you, you you can choose either. It doesn't matter if you choose preview or overlay because um, preview is normally if you're recording and watching off off your computer screen. It's it's a tiny bit laggy on my computer. My computer's a uh, Acer Aspire. Th it's 3200 gaming. I don't know. It's pretty good though. Don't need any preview acceleration. Stretch the window stay none. Video source. Since I'm using S video. It has to be an S video. The capture pin should be your region, which mine is PAL because I'm in Europe and I'm in in England. Frame rate should stay the same as it already is. Um, your compression color space should be Y U Y two, not any of the others. And your output size that you can put that on anything, but I, I'd recommend you put it on the the largest output size you've got. Because then, when you come to put it widescreen, put it on YouTube, you can have HD and it looks a lot better. So just click apply and OK. Just wait for it to load again. So once you press that, and you'll be on capture pin, capture filter. Um, you just basically choosing your vi your video region standard again. Don't need to mess with those. Um, and those you might need to mess with if your other ones don't work. So yeah, I've had to load again. Um now you can just leave that all the same amount. Now audio. You want enable audio capture because you want to capture audio and choose the one you want. And at, my, at the moment I've got mine on set of stereo mix and that's the one you want. Or front mic. Because what you'll do is I'll show you in another video of my actual setup between my like with my components is that I don't use the microphone on the ease cap because it's crap Um I use a, a mic um, what do you call it a converter I have my stereo mix because that allows me then to have the sound of my game coming out of my computer speakers instead of coming out of my TV so that should be like that uh, audio source would be master volume because that's the only one you'll be able to choose from audio source would be audio line because that's where you're coming from uh, you don't need to do any compression on there. Don't need to mess with any of these now. Cause if you put it on enable audio playback, it'll sound terrible. Right, capture. This is some of these. Um, the especially timing is probably one of the most important for your audio. So if you go to settings first, you'll just want to leave all of those the same. You don't need to change that. But one of the most important thing is is um get down to timing and you can you can pause if you want to if you want this however it's set up so the first two boxes ticked burst limit 10 and then when you've got the resync mode you want to choose the bottom one that's the best the rest just won't sync none of the next two boxes untick un untick the next two boxes sorry um, that whatever that is automatic and at zero and then use audio timestamps when available so you can pause it now if you want to right then, next thing now what I do since I'm lazy and I can't be asked to go and compress all this again because what you do is you go down to video oh you have to set your, you have to set your capture file first if I set that at, I don't know 2 for example so there you go you've got that your capture um, file now video filter chain you'll need to this press enable 
and go to filter list and you'll get this box press add and you'll want to choose deinterlace press ok and it will come with this box you want to choose blend fields which is the fourth one down what this does and keep that as the same as well uh, what this does is um gets rid of all the nasty lines off your off your video if you have any um since I'm using S V D R I don't need anything else but if you did um composite you'd need where is it sharpen where's it gone there I put that up to about twenty or nineteen then press OK on that on your keyboard press C to bring up your compression or you can go through the video what you want to install is uh, XVID and it has to be the old one because the new ones for some reason don't work well, they don't work on my computer or any others that I've got I'll put a link to the description where you can get this or I might upload it myself if you can't get it anymore I'll put a link to virtual dub and a link to the video well, showing you my components so what you want to do is click on XVID now and own restrictions, configure and then leave that as is, press OK. What this is doing is it's enabled your compression, press OK. Now what you can do is you can go down to capture and capture video. There will be a slight delay in this of course. And there you go, you're capturing. As you can see then the thing's been around, you can see the lions, well it'll get rid of those. So, once you've um, finish capturing that stop capture um, I hope this has helped um, oh, another thing is that um, sometimes yeah, it says at the top file exists sometimes your computer may freeze and then you'll have to compress it again but mine doesn't because yeah <laughs> but um, I hope this has helped a lot of you um, I'll be happy to answer answer any questions you want to throw at me and comment, write, subscribe and I'll bring a new video out soon.